Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Preschool Storytime. I'm Miss Amalia from Maplewood Memorial Library. Very happy to have you here in our special online story time. I'm going to do it just like I do at the library. Um, so let's get started. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands with me. Clap your hands and let me see. Clap your hands with me and roll, 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 roll your hands, roll your hands with me, roll your hands and let me see, roll your hands with me and pat, 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 pat your knees, pat your knees with me, pat your knees and let me see, pat your knees with me and clap, 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 clap your hands, clap your hands with me. Clap your hands and let me see. Clap your hands with me. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Can I see those hello hands? Hello everybody, how are you? Hello everybody, how are you? It is such a lovely day. I'm so glad we came to play. Hello, everybody. How are you? One more time. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hello, everybody. How are you? It is such a lovely day. I'm so glad we came to play. Hello, everybody. How are you? If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Good job. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Good job. Clap your hands and tap your feet. Make your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Good job. Okay. Our first book is called Whistle for Willie by Ezra Jack Keith. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. He saw a boy playing with his dog, and whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead, he began to turn himself around and around, around and around he whirled, faster and faster. And when he stopped, everything turned down and up and up and down and around and around. Peter saw his dog Willie coming and quick as a wink, he hid in an empty milk carton, an empty carton lying on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I whistled, Peter thought? Willie would stop and look all around to see who it was. Peter tried again to whistle, but still he couldn't. So Willie just walked on by. Peter got out of the carton and started home. On the way, he took some colored chalks out of his pocket and drew a long line right up to his door. He stood there and tried to whistle again. He blew until his cheeks were tired, but nothing happened. He went into his house and put on his father's hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. <sighs> Still, no whistle. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, Why, no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'd better go and look for them, said Peter. First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk, 
Then he tried to run away from his shadow. He jumped off of his shadow, but when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the carton was, and who should he see but Willie? Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and blew and blew. <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> out came a real whistle. Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. It's me, Peter shouted and stood up. Willie raced straight to him. Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling. So did Willie. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there. And he whistled all the way home. The end. Okay, let's roll our hands for the wheels on the bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The doors, doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town the horn the horn on the bus goes beep 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 the horn on the bus goes beep 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 all through the town the wipers wipers on the bus go swish 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 Swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. All through the town, the babies, babies on the bus go wah, 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 wah. The babies on the bus go wah, wah, wah. All through the town, the mommies, mommies on the bus go, I love you, I love you, I love you. The mommies on the bus go, I love you. All through the town, daddies too, the daddies on the bus go, I love you, I love you, I love you. The daddies on the bus go, I love you. All through the town, the driver, driver on the bus goes, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus goes, move on back. All through the town, bumpy ride, the people on the bus go, bumpity bump. Bumpity bump, bumpity bump. The people on the bus go bumpity bump. All through the town, the wheels, wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. All through the town. Very good job. Okay, this next book is called Peak in My Pocket by David A. Carter. And so when I say peak in my pocket, together we can say, and you will see. So let's practice one time. Peak in my pocket. And you will see. Okay, perfect. Let's get started. I've got a little something. What could it be? A purple circle. Surprise from me. Peek in my pocket. 
And you will see a ball, a purple ball. I've got a little something. What could it be? A yellow square surprise from me. Peek in my pocket and you will see a jack-in-the-box. There's the yellow square. I've got a little something. What could it be? A white triangle surprise from me. Peek in my pocket and you will see a boat with a white triangle sail. Whoa, it's a big elephant. I've got a little something. What could it be? An orange diamond surprise from me. Peek in my pocket. And you will see a kite. I've got a little something. What could it be? A rectangle surprise from me. Peek in my pocket and you will see a book about butterflies. I've got a little something. What could it be? A rainbow oval surprise from me. Peek in my pocket and you will see an egg, a rainbow egg. Hmm, I have a surprise. What could it be? Something especially special from me. Peek in my pocket and you will see a baby, a baby kangaroo in her mommy's pocket. The end, the end. Okay, I'm not gonna stand up, but this is a time when you can stand up. We're gonna start off with our five hungry ants. They're gonna go to the picnic. They're going to march through the salad and into the cake, and then they're gonna make a mistake and march into the pepper. And they're going to sneeze. They're going to sneeze so hard, one ant is going to fly away. So you can stand up and start marching. Five hungry ants marching in a line came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Oh, no! That was a mistake. Ah. Uh, Ah, ah, choo! Bless you! How many ants left? Four. Four hungry ants marching in a line came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Oh no! That was a mistake. Ah, 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 choo! Bless you! How many ants left? Three. Three hungry ants marching in a line came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Oh, no! That was a mistake. Ah, 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 choo! Bless you! How many ants left? Two. Two hungry ants marching in a line came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad. 
They marched into the cake. They marched into the pepper. Oh no! That was a mistake. Ah, 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 choo! Bless you! How many ants left? One. One hungry ant, marching in a line, came upon a picnic where they could dine. They marched into the salad, they marched into the cake. Wait! Stop! Not into the pepper. Wouldn't make that mistake. Lunch time. Let's eat all the food. Nom, 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 nom. Very nice. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. I'm a very special pot, it's true. Here, let me show you what I can do. I can switch my handle and my spout. Tip me over and pour me out. Can I see your ten fingers? I have ten little fingers. They all belong to me. I can make them do things. Would you like to see? I can shut them up tight. Make your hands tight, 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 tight. I can open them up wide, stretch. I can put them together and then make them hide. Whoop! Uh oh, where'd your hands go? Oh, there they are. I can jump them up high. Whee! and jump them down low. I can fold them together and lay them just so. Okay, let's sit back down and have another story. This one is called, I Ain't Gonna Paint No More by Karen Beaumont, illustrated by David Cattrall. One day my mama caught me painting pictures on the floor and the ceiling and the walls and the curtains and the door. And I heard my mama holler like I never did before. You ain't a gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. That's what I say, but there ain't no way that I ain't gonna paint no more. So, I take some red and I paint my head. Where's your head? Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh, what the heck? Gonna paint my neck. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Still, I just can't rest till I paint my chest. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Guess there ain't no harm if I paint my arm. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I just can't stand not to paint my hand. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Then I see some black, so I paint my back. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Like an Easter egg, gonna paint my leg. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Still I ain't complete till I paint my feet. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I'm such a nut, gonna paint my what? Uh-oh, mom's back. Y'all don't faint, cause there ain't no paint. So I ain't gonna paint no more. 
There's a child in the bathtub with the doggy. Uh oh. The end. Can I see your ten fingers and your thumbs? Let's hide them. Whoop. Where is Thumbkin? Where is Thumbkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Pointer. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Way. Tall man, where is tall man? Where is tall man? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Ring man, where is ring man? Where is ring man? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Pinky, where is Pinky? Where is Pinky? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. The family, where's the family? Where's the family? Here we are, here we are. How are you today, sirs? Very well, we thank you. Run away, run away. Way very good job. Okay, here's a book that we can sing together. It's called I Went Walking by Sue Williams and illustrated by Julie Vivas. So here's the child walking. So there's a part that you can help me with. I'm going to say, I went walking. And then you're going to ask, what did you see? Let's practice one time. I went walking. What did you see? Very nice. I went walking. What did you see? I saw a black cat looking at me. I went walking. What did you see? I saw a brown horse looking at me. I went walking. What did you see? I saw a red cow looking at me. I went walking. What did you see? I saw a green duck looking at me. I went walking. What did you see? I saw a pink pig looking at me. I went walking. What did you see? I saw a yellow dog looking at me. I went walking. What did you see? I saw a lot of animals following me. There they are. The end. Okay, so for our last song, 
We're going to do our ABCs, the alphabet song. The first time we're going to clap on each letter and each word in the song. And the second time we're going to sing with our soft, quiet voice. So let's get started. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Now quietly, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Very good job. And grown ups, that's something easy that you can do. You already know all of the words to the song. So you could try singing it in different volumes, different speeds, different tunes. It's a fun activity while you're at home. Um, thank you all for coming to online story time today, uh, whatever time of day it is. Let's say our goodbye, and I'll see you here next time. My hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. My feet say thank you with a tap, 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 clap, 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 tap, tap, tap. We roll our hands and we wave goodbye. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends. I wish that we could stay. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends. Until another day, one more time. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends. I wish that we could stay. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends. Until another day. Bye-bye. See you next time.